This is the second part of the newsletter project, Report 10983, see page 436. We're going to start from within GDP and then follow these steps to continue the newsletter as shown on page 437. From Lesson 109, double-click Report 10983, click Next. And at this point, we want to open Report 10881 to create report 10983. You should see here the masthead that you created in lesson 108. Not mine, but the one you created. The next step is to move outside the table below column A. See my insertion point? Let's turn on show hide. Now we're going to press enter two times, then insert file 109. Okay, do you remember how to insert a file Go to the Insert tab, over to Insert Object, and then you'll see Text from File. It should take you to your GDP Data folder where you should page down until you see File 109. And there are two versions. Take the DOCX version, which is Word 2007. Just click once and then say Insert. Now, Move back up to the top for the moment and move to Page Layout tab and click Hyphenation Automatic. Okay, that's turning it on. Now, carefully place your insertion point in front of the second blank line under the masthead. That is where mine is right now. And select all the newly inserted text, including one blank line below the last line of text. So since we have clicked there, a good way to select all that text is now to scroll down to the very end, including the one blank line below, which means we're going to hold down Shift while we click with the mouse right here and you'll see that all of that material is selected. The next step is to create three columns with a line between the columns. So we are on the Page Layout tab. That's where we need to be. We're going to click Down Arrow under Columns, and instead of clicking three, we're going to come down here to More Columns. This is very important. You can click three here. This is where you click to insert the line between. Now notice also that the width and spacing here can be adjusted. We're going to leave it the way it is unless we find that we need to make some adjustments we can come back here later. So we're going to apply to the selected text and click OK. All right, now you see we have moved on to two pages. You should be seeing your footer say page two at the bottom of page two. And so far, this is what your document should look like. Next step, select the following headings in the newsletter and change the font to Cambria 24 point. Tips for the smart traveler. Cambria is recently used, so it is at the top of the list. It's also alphabetical. 24 point. Okay, that's quite a bit larger. Next, planning your travel online. Cambria and 24 point. And finally, on page two, focus on Dallas, Fort Worth, forgetting, okay, it is at the top or alphabetical, size 24. Now, on to seven. Select the following subheadings in the newsletter and bold them. So the airport, bold, love field, you can put bold in several places as you've just seen me do, or you can simply click on the keyboard, Control B. All right, now we're going back under the masthead. Step eight, place your insertion point in front of the second blank line under the masthead. Insert a table with one column and one row. Move to the Insert tab and insert a table with one column and one row. Now change to Cambria 12 point. Type in this issue, colon, and then press Enter one time. Now we're going to change to Calibri Italic 12 point and type the following lines. Press Enter after each one. Otherwise, let WordWrap do its work. Now add a shading color to the table to coordinate with the picture in the masthead. Since we're already in the table, Come to Table Tools, Design, 
come to shading we're going to choose this color right here the next task is to insert a picture in the space above each of the bulleted items in the first article on the first page of the newsletter. The picture should be associated in some way with the topic in each of the bulleted items. So clicking on the first page, we have do your homework. That is the first one we need to insert a picture on top of. So click right there, place your insertion point in front of the paragraph symbol above that bullet point. Now, the first paragraph seems to be talking about doing your homework to find out about your destination before you do anything else. Find a good travel agent, do research on the internet, buy some good travel books are the suggestions. You'll notice the graphic they chose in the book seems to involve doing research in books. So we could do a number of things, but let's go to insert, clip art, search books. Okay, I'm going to choose this graphic, Pile of Books. Notice it is really quite large, so we're going to resize it. It has to be very small, so we're just going to get it in our view here and drag it down as small as we possibly can. Move it as close to the location as you can. And then you should find, if you're anchoring it to that blank line above the bullet point, then you should right click and check the text wrapping. It needs to be square is actually a better option so that you can insert extra lines if needed and in this case it is. Okay, every situation can be a bit different. Let's go down to the next one carry medications with you. Let's click here and look for medications. Remember that it's best to choose graphics in a similar style in this kind of situation. I think I'll try this one. Resize, move, resize a bit more, and insert one extra blank line. Okay, next step, buy travel insurance. This is a hard one, but I am going to put insurance and see what we come up with. Okay, there's a possibility that we could interpret some of these as travel insurance, although they're pretty clearly home and auto. So we're going to try this as a way of a car indicating travel instead of auto insurance. That seems to fit in there perfectly. So I believe there is one more here. Confirm all reservations. I like this one, showing that something is in print. I'm not sure that all of my styles are similar enough but I'm trying to do this hastily to illustrate the construction rather than best design principles. So we can take a little more time and choose your graphics well. At this point, I have four graphics entered. Just hope them to look white, centered the same way. Okay, that looks good. Next step, place your insertion point in the blank line above the heading, planning your online travel. Okay, right here and apply a top border. So we're going to go to our Home tab and see what happens when we click Top Border. Okay, that is as intended. There are other options on the page if you come to Borders and Shading. You can choose what you're applying the border to. Often you will be in a table when you're applying borders, but in this case it's set on Paragraph Next, place your insertion point in the blank line above the heading Focus on Dallas-Fort Worth and apply a top border. All right, we have completed all of the steps for this lesson. Let's scroll through and give it a look. Okay, we're on page two, but we're not finished yet. Save and close the newsletter. You'll be resuming work on it in lesson 110. And remember, GDP will not score this document.